Welcome to Intergeo TV here at Intergeo 2018 in Frankfurt. Joining me now is Dr. Ilka Mai. She is co-founder and CEO of Lock Lab, a consulting company. So let's talk about that, what you do. It's, for me, it's just new. What is the topic? <laughs> we call ourselves the digital twin company. So what we do is data modeling and we create what people call digital twins. That is virtual copies of real existing spaces, assets, facilities. Uh, it could be, for example, 50 kilometers of track or road, or it could be an entire city, or it could be something like a train or a plant or a machine. And we create the copy of that. We, we model that. When we met last time, your main topic was BIM. It's still a little bit, but now it's more about data, about modeling. Why? Well, I would say it's still the same because when we look at BIM and when we look at what we understand what BIM is, it's all about data. And that is exactly what we do. We create, as I said, digital copies. Yeah. And um, what is special about our digital twins is they are fully semantic, which means they are object-based. Yeah. So in our digital twins, you can click on a window, you can click on a door, on a handle, or on a piece of track, and there will be information attached to it or at least there will be the possibility to connect the asset to a data system like SAP or Maximo or whatever it is. So I would say we are still full in the heart of BIM, actually. Okay. Talking about BIM, just for a moment, what is the perspective from your side? A lot of people are talking about BIM is very important, but the, 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 it's, not, it's going slower and slower and slower. It's not as expected so fast. Why? Well, I think, um, first of all, we have, especially in Germany, we have still a very broad uh, variety of understandings of what BIM means. And a lot of people still see it as just a 3D model. Other people call it a methodology or um, a way of working or even a mindset. And I think when we look at the construction sector, we see that this sector has a lot of challenges. It's, it is very uh, disconnected. Um, it is... Um, a lot of things like um, incentivation of the supply chain, mm. collaboration, behaviors, all that needs to change. And if you mingle that with new technologies, you will see you have, you've created a beast and therefore it's not surprising that we are really slow in, in tackling that beast. Okay. You presented at the Smart City Solution Forum today a speech, uh, presentation. Uh, give us some facts about it. So what I presented today was, first of all, how we use games technology in our production process to create the digital twins, to make them um, very efficient, very uh, realistic, but also highly performant. And, um, and as I said, we use games technology, and I talked a little bit about how we do that, uh, also to make them very cheap and affordable. Um, what I then also talked about is how we can use these twins and the data on a platform. And that is a really interesting um, project uh, or a new product, let's call it. It's a platform um, that we can use now for accessing data from different sources. Okay. And that is in particular of interest to um, asset operators like infrastructure operators um, or asset owners who have lots of construction projects ongoing at the same time and also who have to operate a large portfolio of assets at the same time and who really need to have access to, uh, to different sources of information at the same time. Everybody's talking about mass data. It's getting faster and faster. The mobile scanning, everything is working on. But handling and managing the data is a very important thing. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's absolutely right. We see that quite a lot. We see that um, there's a huge overload of data and information. So we need to find better ways and processes of managing that information. And that's, as I said, and also to secure that information. Data security is also a very important part. Now we are starting to uh, collect and to centralize our data in one single point, which is also a point of failure, a single point of failure. So if this data, for example, gets lost or gets hacked or something like that, so we, we need to be very careful about that. You are an expert for, you're an expert for many years now for the Intergeo, and now you have a booth here as well. What do you expect from Intergeo 2018? 
Well, just judging from this morning, I think we've had uh, maybe one or two minutes where uh, we had it quiet and a little pause and a break. Uh, but other than that, we've made lots of new contacts, especially now international contacts. And I think this is fantastic at Intergeo that we have so many international guests here from China, from Russia, from Ukraine. And that's what exactly what we are looking for. We need, the, we want to have the international connections and the network and obviously more clients and more interesting projects. Thanks a lot. Thank you.